Hello chickies, hello everybody, it is Baron, I am, you know, I am returning, sorry I've been, you know, on a bit of a, bit of a break, not a break, but I just haven't been putting out videos, I've just been enjoying the, the Modern Warfare 2 beta, um, but I just really want to tell you is that, you know, I've been working on, well, I'm to work on the Polaris and the Perseus deep dive, so I'm going to revamp the actual videos, the audio will remain the same from the original videos, um, I'm also working on another little sort of project, a little bit of a secret. If you want to see it, it is in the um, channel membership section of Discord. Yes, I know it's a little bit of a, an advertisement there, but it is going to be very interesting. I think a lot of people are going to like it. It's going to be, it's, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. I'm enjoying this little bit of a challenge that I'm doing right now. It might take me a little while. But hopefully it will be worth it. But today we're going to be talking about the Polaris and the Merchant Men and how John Crew said they're not going to be putting the Polaris in or working on it because they're waiting for multi-crew sort of functionality and gameplay. And it sort of didn't sit with me after that, you know. It didn't really make sense to me why they would do this. A lot of you are going to disagree with this. We're all going to have disagreements here. We're all going to have a little bit of a conversation of why this is a little bit of a ridiculous statement. So we know that, you know, the... The Hammerhead is getting its sort of multi-crew functionality where, you know, people can pull out those little nodes and repair them and do their thing with them and whatever, with like, cool. Um, but, you know, the statement that John Crew made is that they're not going to put the Polaris in the game or they're going to work on it because they're waiting for that multi-crew functionality, um, which seemed a little bit weird because they're going to be building the Banu Merchantman in there, which is, you know, everyone's like, oh, it's a capital ship. Yep, cool. I don't care. Um... You know, but which it does have multi-crew functionality and it's going to need it. Like people are going to need to do this with this ship. It's just one of those things that's going to eventually be um, in the game and people are going to need to like come to terms with this. And it's it might suck for a while, but you know, we, we have to adapt. We have to get used to this. And it didn't really sit with me because it's like, well, if the... Polaris needs that functionality and it needs that gameplay. Well, what about the Banu Merchantman? Is the Banu Merchantman going to be your little test uh, mouse? Is it going to be your little bit of an experiment to see how it goes with multi-crew functionality and having interaction with strangers in the shops? Is that what we're doing here? I know this seems like a bit of a strange discussion, but, it, you know, I sort of accepted that, you know, John Crew had said that. In the last ship Q&A but now thinking about it it doesn't really make sense to me if someone has an answer let me know down in the comments if you have like a legitimate answer or um, a theory on this because I you know after th seeing thinking about it it didn't really sit with me that well is that you know why are we getting the Banu Merchantman that we've been waiting for so long which you know <laughs> I'm gonna put it out there could be delayed it's not going to be, I don't think, but just to mess with you guys, what if it were to be delayed for another year and wasn't to come out because of something else? <laughs> but I don't think that would be the case because I know they would think that would be a massive, massive mistake. So why wouldn't they bring the Polaris out and why would they bring the Banu Merchantman out? Yes, the Banu Merchantman is a highly anticipated ship and so is the Polaris. Do they not want to bring both of them out at the same time? But would they want to keep them as a separate release so they can, you know, benefit financially off of both of them and have a bit of a launch sale with both ships? Or is it that, you know, they legitimately need that functionality between the two ships? And I'm not saying, you know, they need to do this, but I'm saying that, you know, why wouldn't the Polaris be of, you know, similar, if not equal to the Banner Merchantman, yes, you're going to need people on the bridge, multiple people, and you're going to need multiple people on the bridge of the Banner Merchantman, but you are probably going to be able to solo it when it first comes out, but you're going to need that crew there. Which brings me to the discussion of NPCs and AI. We, can we expect AI and NPCs within a year or so of um, the Banner Merchantman or you know, Pyro being released because it just seems to make sense that that will be the case of some ships because the Banu Merchantman is going to be a very, very large vessel. And I'm not saying this because, you know, it's a naive statement. It's going to be the size of an Idris P in length and it's going to be a bit longer than the 890 Jump. Now, thinking about that, the 890 Jump right now probably doesn't need a multi-crew 
role or functionality as per se because it's not really going to be used as a battle vessel it's going to be used as a transporter in some cases where people wanted those taxi missions so that they could actually get some sort of use out of the 890 jump and a lot of other transporters like the phoenix but saying that i think the polaris would create a little bit of a difficulty and a little bit of a challenge within the verse through the server count that they may have we have 100 people now. That We could have two to 400 people by the time server meshing is here. And I think even though people want their capital ships, I don't think it would be a wise idea to have a lot of them in the game. It would create and pose a possible issue with players. It could also cause a lot of griefing issues where people would just lock down stations. It could cause issues of spawning too many of them because we know there's a lot of Polaris's and Banu Merchantmen's out there. And this is my initial discussion and argument. It may not be the fact that you know you're always going to run into someone with these new updates and with Pyro, but it's always going to be that possibility that you will have that, um, that initial sort of engagement with someone in that Banu Merchantman or the Polaris when it eventually comes out. But what about the Perseus? Yes, the Perseus with those massive four size seven cannons. That would also pose a threat. But we also know that the Banu Merchantman has dual size eight. Well, I would assume that they would be tachyon cannons and that, you know, this ship is going to be a ridiculous, ridiculous force to be reckoned with. But it also has a lot of benefits within the game. It also has the shops. It has a lot of benefits for other people to board that ship and be used as a transport carrier. It may also be used as a ship to carry smaller vessels through the verse, through the wormholes to get to pyro i just don't know we don't really know or have any sort of idea we can make the all the the assumptions and the ideas and you know the theory crafting that we want but at the end of the day we just need to see it as a physical product and get an idea which why i initially started this video because it didn't make sense to bring the banu merchantman which is going to be a massive vessel it's going to have like six decks or so and to not have something like the polaris the polaris has fantastic capabilities yes it has its massive massive torps but it also has very good defensive capabilities as the banu merchantman does but it doesn't have guns for the pilot like the banu merchantman does it just has its torpedoes which also poses the discussion of will we eventually be able to use the polaris for what it's intended to be from a long distance traveler between two st like multiple systems if you haven't read on the polaris it is designed to stay out into deep space for um for long periods of time without having to sort of go air any sort of civilization at all which again would pose the same discussion for the banu merchantman but the banu merchantman has a lot more scu in space which poses that you know it has multiple multiple roles uh, it's like a multi-role vessel i guess it would be a gunship a blockade runner um it has shops on it it has the capabilities of carrying other smaller vessels it has the potential to carry cargo it has the potential to like carry so many supplies and do so much in the game which because it's gotten bigger does that mean it would move slower is that why we're getting the ship and is it become like a bit of a, a guinea pig so that they can experiment to see how people would interact and through that ship so that they can then think about you know will we bring the polaris out and what's the idea behind it and what they could do with it so that's interesting to think about i hope you uh, enjoyed that sort of a little bit of a discussion let us know what you think about this whole thing in the comments join our discord all the links are in the description and uh we'll see you in the verse we'll see you there bye bye